Put yourself back in the late 1800s and ask yourself, how do we get from the 1890 telegraph to the modern 21st century computer? My name is Nathan Smalling, and I'm studying to be a software engineer. Without the transistor, the world as we know it would never have been created, and I will tell you why in this speech, as well as how they came to be. The transistor is the most important piece of a technology ever created or devised because it gave us the ability to change circuits in real time, and it gave us the ability to create digital information as well. Without the transistor, we wouldn't have the lights we have now, or the computers, not to mention the phone in your pocket. Like, we've just, everybody has them. The reason for this is actually pretty simple. Um, three men, William Shockley, John Bardeen, and uh, Walter Bertain, had a big problem they were trying to solve. Basically, uh, the problem was trying to upgrade communication systems and figuring out how to switch phone lines so that you didn't have to have operators, so that you could call automatically. They were first using these vacuum tubes, but they were extremely unreliable and breakable, which is terrible because how could you get a service crew out in the early 1900s? to a place you don't even know where it's broken. So these three got together to start making something that would transition on command and could be much more reliable. They had an inkling on how to create this thing because they knew a little bit about certain chemicals, how certain metals behaved under certain conditions. Two of them were able to create a transistor but it was still kind of unreliable, kind of primitive. But when the third found out about them working alone together on this project and that they had created one without him, he got so mad that he went home to his hotel room and in his fury created a much more reliable and working transistor that is actually somewhat close to the transistor we have today. Now, all of this came from a really important question. How do we get communication lines to work automatically? The inspiration for this question was simple. AT&T, everybody recognizes that name, did not want to go bankrupt. They wanted these really incredible engineers to build something to help them out. I'm not sure if these three knew exactly what they had just invented or the scope of changing the world but it truly did change the entire world and the entire history of the world and the entire future of the world computers were only created because we had something physical now that could change states and circuits on command the invention of the computer really skyrocketed the current modern inventions we now enjoy as well. Can we have a wand and just wave it and make computers appear? Could we simply have a bunch of humans that would compute the same calculations that a computer can? That's impossible. We have to create some physical thing that could change circuits on command without human involvement for this to be possible. It's impossible to, for a human to do all the calculations that computers can do. And without the transistor, the computer never would have been invented. If the transistor was never created, the world would be stuck in the early 1900s, even today. How terrible would that be? Everyone on the planet benefited from this important invention. As one of my good professors once said, three men who invented the transistor quite literally created the entire world around you. That was Professor Sorensen. Again, I'm not sure if those guys knew what they had just created, but the world changed forever.
because digital circuits were now possible to create. It's almost the equivalent of curing cancer, really. What did the transistor do for us? Everything that a digital circuit or a computer has ever done for us. Was the transistor the most important invention in human history? By far.